KPIX 5 News begins with the homeless camp that's become a safety hazard. Neighbors fed up with the trash and the drugs and living in fear of fires that could spark at any moment. Good evening. I'm Ken Bastida. I'm Juliette Goodrich. The camp in San Jose seems to be growing by the day. It sprang up along an on ramp to Highway 101 near Sunbeam Circle, right next to a mobile home community. KPX 5's Devin Faley is live with the calls for Caltrans to step up and clear it out. Devin? Yeah, this uh, homeless encampment, as you can see, is sprawling and trash strewn. And the people that live on the homes on the other side of this wall say they want it gone. The people living here say, we understand that, but if we had somewhere to go, we'd be there already. Like so many disputes between neighbors, how you feel about who's right or who's wrong has an awful lot to do with the side of the fence you're on. There was a guy tried to climb over the wall, and then I got scared and I yelled at him. I say, hey, what are you doing? That guy was coming from here a makeshift homeless encampment on the on-ramp to Highway 101, a dusty, dirty, dead end for people who've run out of money and options. We shouldn't be here. There should be other options, you know, but there's only so much, you know, places that we can go where they're throwing us out. But they are here by the dozens, and the people living in the mobile home community on the other side of the wall are none too pleased about it. They complain about loud late night music, syringes tossed over the fence into their backyard, and cooking fires that spread to the treetops and nearly to their homes. I call 911 right away, um, but almost burned my house at 9 p.m. So I really deeply concerned about that will happen again. San Jose City Councilman Tam Nguyen is urging Caltrans, which owns the land, to clear the homeless out. But advocates say that's a short-term solution at best. The myth is the homeless choose to be on the street. What are the choices they have? A tent or an overpass or literally a box, but there's really no myriad of choices. So for now, these unlikely neighbors are forced to coexist, each on their side of the fence that separates and defines them. Now, one of the ironies of this story is that the city plans to build a tiny home encampment in this very neighborhood. Now, Councilman Nguyen says that he believes that a city-sanctioned homeless encampment would be cleaner, more orderly, and pose less of a risk to nearby neighborhoods. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.